Frequent flyers fly, la 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 la. Frequent flyers bat. What's up? You checking out the Frequent Flyer? Welcome back to the channel. Smash the like button to show your support. If you're new to the channel, I'd like to extend the warmest welcome. So I'm out here at the wee hours of night. <laughs> Super late at night. I think it's like 3 o'clock in the morning, y'all. I'm out here. And um, the reason I'm out here is because I got this thing, y'all. This is X-Fly from Bionic Bird. And this thing is supposed to be a very big improvement. This thing has self-leveling flight and everything. It's supposed to fly straight now. Makes it a whole lot easier to fly. These ornithopters or whatnot, having the accelerometer and everything in it. Flight stabilization and everything. I just haven't been able to get this thing out and fly it because it's been super windy. <laughs> this thing is supposed to be able to fight wind. But the one that we've been having here was just too much for this thing. <laughs> so I had to wait until it got calm. Usually it's calm out here late at night. And so that's when I planned to fly. Didn't plan to fly it this late. But that's a whole nother story. I have a rather large phone. I have a, a Galaxy Fold. A Z Fold. And so um, it's uh, really challenging to um get the controller strapped to this thing it does work but at the same time i use my phone to record that's what i'm recording this video with and my wife's phone i was having issues with that so i actually brought out my retro pocket three plus <laughs> so that's the only way i have to fly this thing right now and show you guys and it actually works out well let me sit this thing down for a second. <clears throat> I haven't flown this thing yet, you know, successfully or whatnot. So this will be my maiden flight of it. And I wanted to show you guys this right here. This is the uh, joysticks that you get for this thing. Um, it, you have to get the special package with this included in order to uh, receive this, but this does not fit on um, the little uh, Retro Pocket 3 Plus. So I'm gonna use the native controllers on it and all. Uh, I'm guessing that this would probably be a little more precise, maybe because the sticks are longer, you can get more precise input, more resolution or whatnot. But let's get this guy up in the air. I'm anxious to see how this thing flies. All right, so let's try to get this thing started. We're going to turn on the bird. I also have the LED module as well, guys. So let's turn this thing on. Turn on the app. Hopefully it connects right away, and it did. We're gonna select that. And so here we are, I think I got everything set up. Let's see, yep, it's responding to it. Okay, so let's turn on the lights actually, so hopefully you guys can see it better. We have a red light, we have green, blue, yellow, purple, blue, again like a turquoise a color I guess I think that's white there and that's off we're gonna go with red red looks a little better to me <laughs> let's see if we could take off from the ground with it y'all no it doesn't want to take off from the ground I'm thinking maybe the battery's dead y'all or something Yeah, this little guy don't want to go. Let me try turning the light off. Maybe the light 
sucking up the juice. It's cold out here, y'all. So maybe the cold is doing a number on the battery. I don't know. This cat trying to take me out, y'all. There it is. Oh, and it cut out on me. <laughs> I think it's the battery, y'all. I got a spare battery right here. I did uh, fool around with this battery in it when I was... Uh, inside so we're gonna try to uh pop the new battery in here we go okay yeah it's flying a little stronger i think it was the battery y'all yeah it was the battery so this thing is flying awesome now Oh, not the tree! <laughs> okay. I don't think it took any damage. Let's bring that tail down now that we got it flying good. Oh, swooping down. Yeah, I think the problem is this, uh, the way that I have it with this thing, these joysticks are really short, so I don't really have any, uh, resolution to my turns, so I have to do mostly wide turns. Let's see if we can take off from the ground now. It's trying. <laughs> I think it probably would take off from the ground. If I had a little more resolution and pop this tail up a little bit more, let's see if we can take off from the ground. Yep, we're in the air. So this thing is flying pretty good. Oh, it cut out a little bit on me. Still going now. Okay, so with a nice battery, this thing flies nice. Pretty controllable. A whole lot more controllable than the previous version. Let's turn it around this way. Let's see if we can change the... Oh, no, not the... <laughs> not paying attention to it. I'm trying to change the colors. And we crashed into the fence there. Let's try to take off from the ground again. And it's up. So this, I'm really impressed with this thing, y'all. A lot more controllable than the previous one. Trying to be a little more subtle with the controls. <laughs> it glid a little bit. Try to take off again from the ground. Ah, right into the side of the curb. Not sure how long the flight time is on this thing. But it seems like we're getting a little weak. As far as the battery. Okay, so we're in the air with it. It flies great, y'all. So the little issues I was having with it was because of the low battery, I think. From me fooling around with it. 
and it glides pretty well. Oh, what happened? Well, I came out of the app by mistake. I don't know what happened. Let's see. Let's go back to the controls. And I imagine it would be a better experience flying this thing with the the sticks that you're supposed to fly it with and a proper phone instead of this Pocket 3 Plus. But it's a quite enjoyable experience though y'all with these sticks on this thing being able to uh, control it video game style. <laughs> Up we're going down. I think the battery is getting low. Flying this thing with the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus. <laughs> Tomorrow I plan to uh, get my wife's phone. Her uh, S24 and try to fly this thing with the uh, sticks that you're supposed to fly it with. In some daylight. Oh, it's flying really nice now, y'all. You can make little slow turns with it and all. You can make hard turns. We're going down, the battery's dying. <laughs> I was going to try to catch it if it stayed up a little longer, uh, long enough for me to swing it back around. But I think that's all the uh, flight time we can get out of it. Let's try. Get it back in the air. Yeah, it's kept going down. It's getting weaker. Ah, had to keep going. I didn't want to land in that water right there. I think I'm going to end this video. Awesome little ornithopter now. With this accelerometer and flight stabilization and all added to it. Very controllable now. The Bionic Bird X-Fly along with the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus. <laughs> Thanks for watching.